tiny house, Prepper. Live simple, live free. Hi, well, hey everybody. I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth. We have tiny house, Prepper. Live simple, live free. You know, we live out here in the woods, and it's not total wilderness. You know, we are not far from our little town, and uh, there's lots of, of houses spread all through the woods, all around us. But we have critters. Yeah. There's lots of critters in the woods. <laughs> and so I just thought we would show you a few of them. This first one is really bizarre. And to tell you the truth, it's kind of creepy. In fact, I really honestly want to say that if you get kind of creeped out a little bit easily, just be prepared as soon as it goes dark. Just turn your sound yeah, down. Yeah. Seriously. Let me tell you about what happened. I was sleeping. It was the middle of the night. It's the middle of the summer, this was a couple months ago, and I had my window open. And our bed is situated where our head is right at the window. I can just reach up, when I'm laying there, I can reach up and touch the screen. So the window was open and the screen was there, and all of a sudden I heard this noise, something out in the woods. Never heard anything quite like it before. So I grabbed my cell phone and I pointed it out there to try to record it. And of course it was in the middle of the night and it was dark. Very dark. So what you're going to see is nothing but black. Uh, because it was filmed at night, but you will be able to hear the sound and like I said, it's creepy Yeah, it just I want to be real honest. Yeah, none of the rest of this stuff's gonna be this this wild but and and, and but it's, This isn't a person so nobody's out there suffering, right? <laughs> so, okay, so here it is. See what you think. So, Ugh. what do you think? <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> we, we've looked up like, uh, what are those cats called? Um, we looked up a variety of different kinds like of cats, bobcats. Fisher, fisher cats. Fisher cats, but they're, in they're in North America, but they're mostly in Canada. Mere cats, but they're only in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> um, red foxes, coyotes, bobcats, uh, the big cats, wolves. yeah, panther. And for every single uh, one. We've been able to find their scream, and nothing was like what we just heard. Yeah, so we just can't figure it out. So, yeah. you know, I've lived in the woods most of my life, and I've done an awful lot of backpacking and mountaineering yeah, we both have, and yep. tent camping, wilderness tent camping, and all that kind of stuff. Never any fear of, of animals in the woods. But when I heard this, <laughs> it raised the hair on the back of my neck. Boy, it was just really creepy. And if I was in a tent, <laughs> yeah, we. It just must be some kind of an animal. Yeah, you know? obviously uh, some kind of an animal. But wow, there's one scream where it sounds the loudest, where it almost sounds a little bit like a cat. But, but then the rest of it sounds like a screaming woman. <laughs> but, but it's not. There's nobody getting hurt out there or no. anything. So, no. yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, that was like our first. But that that, that was the big dramatic one. Right. <laughs> so then this next one, these are just a nuisance, and. <laughs> This was uh, filmed out of my window also. Uh, oh, I wanted to mention, everything we're going to show you here, it was either filmed from the house, out, out through the window, or within about 10 feet of our house. Yeah, everything was right here. Yeah, so this one was filmed out the kitchen window, and unfortunately the camera f um, focused more on the screen than it did on the animal, and on the window screen. And we've shown we've shown one of these before. Yeah, but these are just a nuisance, and all all I do is just chase them away. <laughs> yeah, just don't get between a mom and a baby, right. and they really aren't any trouble. Right. In fact, they're quite beautiful. Okay. Get out of here! Get out of here! All right, well, if you couldn't tell through the screen, that was a black bear. Right. Yeah. And they love to get in our trash. And the trash is outside right below the kitchen window. And uh, 
that's what he was going after. So I yelled out the window and chased him away. Right. <laughs> they'll just run off. You just don't want to get between a mom and a cub. But right. other than that, they'll just, they'll just run off. Yeah. We don't, they don't ever really hurt anybody that we know of, you know. So they can get pretty big, too. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this next one, these are so cute, but they're really dangerous. Well, yeah, they can be so destructive in their super cute way. Right. So we had just fired up our wood stove for the first evening of the season and it, just a few days ago and it really wasn't quite cold enough yet for the wood stove and it got really hot inside so you know wood stove has there's no thermostat so the only thing you can do <laughs> is open doors and windows so we opened the door we had the door wide open but we had the screen door closed and all of a sudden we found this visiting us yeah i looked up and i thought a cat was on the front porch and then i said oh and i grabbed my phone really fast <laughs> yeah we had we had this pretty cute visitor i don't think it's very old no just kind of an older teenager maybe or right. something like that <laughs> they could jump up and try to get through that hole that would scare the crap out of me i'll be real honest with you First I thought the cat had gotten out, and then I realized it was a raccoon. Hey. Don't you even. You need to close that thing up on top. That really does scare me. Thank you. Get. Get. I can't get him out of there because the door's, you know. So uh, it was kind of troubling because it was right up against the screen and the door was open. And so it, it was between the door and the screen and <laughs> there was no way I could get chase it away without opening the screen door to try to close the door. But it was between the door and the screen. And, you know, raccoons aren't like horribly aggressive, but you don't want to. I mean, they're a wild animal, and apparently they can carry rabies. Oh, they do. definitely they carry, carry rabies, rabies and, they, and they do bite. So, so if he's trying to yeah. protect himself, we, you know, we don't take it for granted that that is a wild animal, and you don't want to mess with it. Right. So, oh, my goodness, Leo, of course, we kept him away so he wouldn't go after the screen. Yeah. And um, right after the raccoon left, Leo was, like, sniffing right up at the screen and looking. I could not quite catch the camera in time. It was really funny. It was cute. Yeah. But I just couldn't quite get him on film in time. So... So this next one, I know a lot of people feel very squeamish about this sort of thing, but we actually have had many of these as pets. Yeah. And I found this one in our wood pile out behind, right next to the house. By the way, they're totally harmless. Um, our son had one for a while, and about the only as a little pet. And then you know, but anyway, they they kind of have a musty, weird smell. Yeah. So he named it Stinky. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so obviously that was a snake, a little garter snake. Yeah, it's just a garter snake. It was fine. We have them in our wood pile and they keep the mice away, which is cool. Yep. People think they're garter, G-A-R-T-E-R, -E but they're actually gardener. Yeah. Gardener snakes, gardener snakes. Right. Yep. So, and like she said, the only danger of them is if you pick them up, they have a musty smell and that stink gets all over your hands. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> so, now this next one was really cool. I've never seen anything quite like it. And it was right there by the house. It was right, also right near the wood pile. And look closely and see how close I have to get to the, with the camera before you can even see it. Right. The, the camouflage is amazing. And then notice how still it stays. And that's why the camouflage is so amazing. Right. Yeah, don't stop looking because all of a sudden you realize what he's actually filming. Right. So, what do you think? Pretty cute little frog, huh? Or toad, whatever. Yes, it yeah. looked like a little toad. Yeah. Very incredibly camouflaged. God did such a good job. Right. Now, <laughs> you know, I 
had a, a woman friend of mine probably I don't know 20 years ago or something she was she, she had lived in the city all of her life and when she found out that I lived out, I, I met her I think it was in the army okay and when I when I met her and she found out I lived in the woods her first reaction was aren't you scared out there in the woods all alone all by yourself I said scared of what she said scared of all those animals and my first response was <laughs> I'm more scared of the of the the two-legged monsters in the city than the four-legged monsters out here in the wilderness. <laughs> right. I mean, you, you know, you want to be careful, um, especially with bears. You know, you want to not leave food around and stuff. But as long as we're respectful of them, you know, it's I think it's kind of neat to have right, them around. Right. I love the variety. Yeah. I love to be able to just look out the window and see a bear or a raccoon or whatever that was screaming in the woods that Ooh, still gives me hackles I when know. I think about it. <laughs> just, it was pretty freaky that night, I got to admit. And it's just some kind of an animal. We realize that. Yeah. But yeah, and I, and I love hearing the cardinals. Um, you can hear them sing and the beautiful red birds and we'll get beautiful blue birds. And cardinals, they chant, right? <laughs> no? I'm talking the bird, you know, oh, the okay. red birds, okay. yes, the cardinals. <laughs> so, yeah, and of course there's deer everywhere. Yeah. Um, we, yeah. we don't tend to get them right here at other house. We had them everywhere. Yeah. But um, I don't tend to get them as much here. But I got to admit, as long as I don't end up tangling with one, it's kind of fun seeing the bears. Right. So, and oh, I love the turkeys. I wish we had a turkey shot for this. We just don't happen to have one we don't have, right now. I don't know that we see many turkeys around here. We used to see them all the time at our last house. Right. And, yeah. and they... They actually gobble and they eat. really do that. <laughs> and they're so cute with the babies and I, yeah, I like the yeah, turkeys a yeah. lot. And of course the geese are flying over in huge droves now, so it's kind of neat. So there's our little critter. Critters, our little <laughs> corner of the of the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> corner of the wilderness. <laughs> yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> and of course we have our big big cat inside. Right, Leo, yeah. yeah. We didn't include him because he's not um wild yeah no he looks like he could be but oh my goodness he's the gentlest thing there ever yeah, was yeah. <laughs> so. all right all right everybody thanks for watching yeah live simple live free all right we love you we'll see you soon be blessed okay hey don't you even get, get. Thank <laughs> you.